Sword and Shield alternate arts are running away from most people. Highly priced as they are out of stock on PokemonCenter.com. The sets that we will be taking a look at today are Brilliant Stars, Astral Radiance, Lost Origin, and Silver Tempest. But what is next in line is the Trainer Galus. They are a lot more affordable for you and I. And we cannot deny how good looking these cards are. But in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at 10 Trainer Galleries that have hit new levels. So if you are struggling to find really nice, decent cards and you can't afford the alt arts, well, the Trainer Galleries are for you and you might not want to miss out on them. We headed over to Pokedata.io. In front of you, we have the Mimikyu V from Brilliant Stars. One of the nicest trainer galleries that you will get in Brilliant Stars. Brilliant Stars is a genuine, fantastic trainer gallery. And to be honest, other than the Charizard with the Venusaur, the trainer gallery carries Brilliant Stars. Nevertheless, it's a beautiful artwork. I've only just noticed as well, we do have the Gengar under that lamp as a toy. Did not know this until I've looked at it a bit closer. Personally, I love this card. And I think it's very, very underrated. It's $16.18 on eBay. The last one sold. TCG Play being a bit more expensive again at $28.58. We pulled the six month market up because why not? Just call it $12. And obviously now in May, so the 20th of May, 22nd of May, $16.18. It's a, not a massive spike in price but i just want to show you so you know this card is still around and still at a good price because you don't really want to miss out on getting one of these cards because this is absolutely beautiful sylveon v max what an adorable card it's an evolution obviously and that bubblegum pink literally just shows through the card with the cherry blossom leaves as well and that beautiful trainer just sitting right there. The last one sold on eBay is at $27.44. The TCG play being a little bit more expensive at $34.50. I just want to take you over here to the PSA 10s before we get into the raw price. $52 on the 22nd of April. Less than a month. $118. So we can see that the trainer galleries have been pushing up a little bit more in price. Then it's dropped down to about $95. Let's have a look at the raw price over the last six months. $11. You could have picked this up. You could have picked a few up if you really wanted to. And it's been really consolidating throughout the uh, six months. And then obviously... Now, because the old tarts are kind of getting harder to get and a lot more expensive, people are getting drawn to these amazing trainer galleries. And that's why the price is going up on them at 24 not 24 $27.44. Out of four Umbreons I picked on my community feed, this is the one that got least votes, the Umbreon V. But nevertheless, it's a beautiful card. The last one sold at $35.37 on eBay. TCG player kind of matching that, which is pretty good. Um, card market, $29.91. Let's have a look at the PSA 10s before we get into the raw. Again, we can see these spikes. $63 last month. And now, and this one hasn't come down yet. Oh, $148. So, again, more than doubled in price for the PSA 10. That is absolutely crazy. Raw, $15. Again, consolidating like most cards did from the back end of last year going through, obviously, March, April, and now finding new highs. So, 33, and then, obviously, it literally went up to 40. That's TCG player. So, Raw was about $40, and now you can pick one of these up. For $38.81. Like I say, the last one sold on average is $35.37. What a beautiful artwork. Another one that you might want in your collection, especially for a trainer gallery. This one is absolutely awesome. This one is even better. The Umbreon and VMAX. So much more detail 
and obviously it's just absolutely beautiful again it's to vmax $46.25 on eBay. TCG Play being a bit more expensive at $49.45. I always start with eBay because I want you to get the lowest price possible. I don't want you to be paying the most expensive price if you want one of these cards. I'm just here to go obviously not guide you, but like give you information, you know what I mean, about average prices, that what you should be paying. You don't be paying too much. If you can get it less than $46.25, good on you, and you deserve it. But we can see again with the PSA 10s, because that's spiking $66, and obviously all around like the same time of May, $170. Wow. <laughs> $172 for the PSA 10, and it's dropped back down to $137. The Raw, about $20 in November last year, and again, we can see it here at $46.25. What a beautiful trainer gallery from Brilliant Stars. It's honestly, like, if you can afford them, it's probably worth just collecting anyway because they are evolutions and they're absolutely beautiful. I think we all know that Brilliant Stars has a better trainer gallery than Astral Radiance, but nevertheless, the Garchomp V is a beautiful artwork. eBay last one sold at $29.88. TCG play a lot more expensive at $45.49. So let's have a look at the PSA 10s. You know, the $63 last month. And now it's not really dropped in price of yet $92. So a lot of people have probably had these in the past, these trainer galleries, and they're just selling them off now because they can, because people want these trainer galleries in a PSA 10. The raw $17.23. Again, just flatline consolidated for a good period of time. And of late, $29.88 to pick one of these up. There's only one more trainer galley that I've got in here, and I think most of you know what it is anyway. So let's go and have a look. Misty's Stormy, the Stormy V is again, I think I've done this before, like the top cards that are under $50. And this is in one of them. It's an absolutely beautiful card. I did own a couple of these. I don't own any more now. I wish you did, but at the time when I sold them was the right time for me to sell them. But nevertheless, eBay last sold at $51.18. TCG player being a lot more expensive, actually, this time around is $69.18. Card market being $50.91. So if you can get over card market, have a look there if you can, you know, if you can pick one of these up. We know the PSA 10 for the Stormy has always been good anyway. Um, but obviously of late, we can see it's gone up to $169. The raw side of things on the six-month chart, $34.37. Again, not really done anything over the last six months until now. And now you can pick, obviously, these up for $51.18. There's only really two decent trainer galleries in Astral Radiance. It's not the strongest of the four, well, I'd say four sets. So, nevertheless, the Garchomp and the Star Me are a really good pickup. Now is Lost Origins turn. We know the booster boxes have been going through the roof. We know they're out of stock as well on the PokemonCenter.com. But nevertheless, Red and Pikachu, the Pikachu V is absolutely beautiful. It's And $27.13. It's still so cheap to pick this one up. Really is cheap. A TCG player, $32.54. I believe there's probably only two trainer galleries as well from uh, Lost Origin that I have picked. So... This is one of them, but this is a beautiful Pikachu. Um, again, from roughly, you know, like $69, then up to about $68 to drop down a little bit, and it's just gone over that $100 mark for a PSA 10. Raw is not really done much. $21. Um, yeah, it's all the way across, really, about $23 there in February. 
and obviously now is $26 uh, there and $27.13. What a beautiful card. If you haven't got one, it might be worth thinking about picking one of these up. I have one of these personally, so it, I think it's just an absolute beautiful artwork to pick up. Double Tempest, a lot of YouTubers are talking about this, saying it's the next set going to be out of stock, inheritable. Yes, it's, it's going to be out of stock. It's the last booster box set they printed from Sword, uh, from Sword and Shield. So yes, it is going to be coming out of stock very soon. Had a reprint last year alongside Lost Origin. Could have another one. We never know. We never... We, we Obviously, Pokemon can do whatever they want. If they feel like they need to put another reprint on for Silver Tempest, they can. But if they do, it's going to really hurt it very hard because it's not the strongest set out of Sword and Shield. You've got the Rayquazas and the Lugia. But that's all you've really got in Silver Tempest. But nevertheless, Rayquaza VMAX is absolutely stunning, beautiful. I love this trainer gallery. It's one of the nicest ones that I've pulled up today in the like the the year uh, the ten trainer ga gallery cards that I'm going to show you. Um, forty six dollars and fourteen cents. The last one sold. TCG player being it cheaper again. So, obviously, if you're a fan of TCG Play and you've got an account and you can get some, go over there and get yourself a few for $43.64. Again, it's a beautiful one. It's the only really decent one from Silver Tempest, and it's really decent. It really is. So, PSA 10, $59 last year in November. Now, $128. I had one of these in an ace grading here in the UK and I sold mine literally last week um yes I made uh, a good profit on it so I'm quite happy but um I feel like I might just need one back from a collection so we'll see how that goes so the raw side of things $25 and um, again consolidating all throughout the six months up till now when people are literally jumping on the bandwagon of getting the trainer galleries. I can understand why, because again, they are beautiful. $46.14. Again, listen, if, don't always feel that obviously you've got to jump in every time to buy these cards. This is me just giving you information about prices. So that is entirely up to you if you want to purchase these cards or not. I'm just giving you information, guys, you know what I mean, to make the right choice if you want to make the choice and, you know, which one is cheaper. eBay is good, TCG Player are good. But again, it just depends what you want, near mint, mint, or something like played, depending if you want it for a binder just to collect these trainer galleries. It's all down to you. It's just information, guys, this is. And I just want you to make the right choice and try get you buying them as cheaper as cheaper as cheap as possible right to the last one it's not like the best one but again it's another one from silver tempest so let's have a look the blaziken v max the obviously the the, the blaziken v max the bigger one is some chilling rain and then we got these as well in silver tempest there's not like i say there's not really a great lot of trainer gallery in silver tempest that are kind of worth picking up but the blaziken v max is i believe at twelve dollars and seventy seven cents TCG player being a lot more expensive at twenty dollars and eighty cents card market being the cheapest in this scenario at ten dollars and eighty two ten. What the hell? So a PS this is what I'm saying, like, you know, of like you can just see how I'm not saying it's manipulation. I'm just seeing it as people want these cards and they've realized how nice, how decent, and how hard it's going to be to probably pick these trainer galleries up, especially, like I say, the old tarts have literally, they're not long gone, but they're out of many people's prices. So again, the trainer galleries are here. That's why these are spiking up. So $40, $39, and obviously $80. So it's literally more than doubled in price over the year which is absolutely fantastic if you've had a couple of these or even one in a PSA. Raw, $10, $10 nothing really. 
and now obviously the raw twelve dollars. If you can get this graded, you can probably make a small fortune because again, twelve dollars plus your thirteen, fourteen dollars for your fees, um, and obviously your thirteen dollars to sell, you still make profit if they're definitely selling around eighty dollars into sixty-two cents if you can sell them on eBay or TCG player. I think we can all say that Brilliant Stars has the better trainer gallery out of the four trainer gallery sets. But I would have liked to put Crown Zenith in here with the Galarian Gallery, but I want to do a separate video on Crown Zenith and Galarian Gallery. That's why I've left it out. But nevertheless, there is some really beautiful um, trainer galleries in there. And I still think there is time for them to grow as well in the current market. Sword and Shield is still very, very popular at the moment. Again, with the old thoughts that people can't afford, what is next? The trainer galleries. Then what's next after that? Maybe they might move on to Sword and Moon, might be moving on to X and Y, or they might be moving on to Scarlet and Violet. We don't know. But for me, them top 10 trainer gallery cards are probably worth picking up, even if you want them to pick up to grade, to, to flip. You know, do what you want or you just want them in your binder. Nevertheless, guys, I hope this information helps and I'll see you on the next one.